What is access to justice? The justice system is not just about crime, courts and prisons. It's also a complex web of laws, processes and services that set out our rights and responsibilities and allow us to enforce or defend them. Most aspects of our everyday lives are covered by the justice system, even if we don't realise it, like bills and money, property we own or rent, caring for our families and children, our work and our healthcare. They're all managed according to the rules of the justice system. And when things don't work out as they should, or we have problems and disputes, the justice system provides the processes and services to resolve them properly. These everyday rights and responsibilities and the structures around them are known as the social justice system. And we use the term access to justice to describe how we as citizens engage with the justice system when we need it. We need to understand the social justice system to make sure people have access to justice speedily and efficiently, but it is complicated. So how do we understand something so complex? Whilst the Ministry of Justice isn't responsible for all parts of the social justice system, our aim is to support people to resolve problems early on where possible and also make sure the courts are available for those who need them. We use lots of evidence and data from many sources to help us do this. Legal needs surveys use large-scale general population questionnaires to help us build a picture of the types of justice issues people have, how they deal with them, the services they use, and whether they end up resolving their problems or not, to get an overview of their problem journey. Understanding the problem journey is important to demonstrate how services interact or hand over between each other. For example, whilst navigating a housing issue, someone can go directly to the courts or they might try to resolve the problem with their landlord personally before seeking advice from the Citizens Advice Bureau. Legal needs surveys have helped us to understand the scale of justice problems Around a third of adults experience at least one justice problem every 18 months. And the knock-on effects, around half of the people who experience legal problems, describe negative impacts on their health, well-being, relationships and work. Research also shows how justice problems, if they aren't solved early, can get more serious and lead to other problems down the line making matters worse for individuals and adding to justice system and wider economic costs. This is known as the cycle of decline. Early, accessible advice helps prevent problems from escalating and people need to be helped to understand that their life problems are actually justice problems in order to act and get support. Problem prevention also avoids more burden on advice services and saves resources and money of other government departments. However, big legal needs surveys are expensive and take a long time to carry out. From the sample sizes used, it's difficult to understand how legal needs are different, depending on demographics, social and economic factors, and the physical geography of where people live. This is where lots of other related evidence comes in to help fill the gaps and build a more detailed picture. One example is the Varying Paths to Justice project. This involved in-depth interviews with people experiencing justice problems to understand how they behaved. One finding was that people who have debt problems often feel ashamed and don't reach out to those around them for help. This leads to them ignoring letters and making the debt issue worse. Many of the people interviewed said discreet guidance or a place they can go for support would have helped them take the first steps and avoid the problem spiralling out of control into other areas of their life. But evidence on access to justice comes from a multitude of sources, not just government research, 
and spans a number of topic areas. It may not be titled as Access to Justice as its key subject. This more nuanced evidence, coupled with what we know about consequences of inaction and how problems can spiral, helps us describe why access to justice is so important and make the case for specific policy areas, such as our legal support programme. For more information on access to justice and the social research that we do at the Ministry of Justice, visit the link on screen.